Another greaser! We have ribs, chicken, we got beans, a roll, on your wings. This is my kind of spot. I'm Matt, a commercial film director and private pilot. My job making car commercials and running a business takes me all over the world, and sometimes I get to fly myself. I am here in the studio. Here's the studio. Thought I was feeling real good. I, uh, I mean, I am feeling real good, but I packed up the plane last night, yesterday, with all the gear, so I didn't have to do it this morning because I'm doing a long IFR flight and I wanted to kind of focus on that rather than packing, but I forgot to get my masks. And I have a bunch of nice new N95s here, but I forgot to grab them. And I need them for the shoot, so I'm here in the studio picking up N95 masks, and then I'm gonna go fly Two hours of real IFR. Wind's picking up quite a bit. Left helmet was like nine knots. Now it's 18 knots. Weather system's coming from the west. Try to get out of here before it gets too gnarly. I did most of my packing last night. So, not a huge kit. Got a Komodo, a Gemini back there, some drones, some GoPro stuff personal stuff but everybody else is bringing the rest so it's like 150 pounds of gear total and let's go clear okay let's approach this grumman tiger 74619er at sparta looking to pick up my ifr clearance to bolton field grumman tiger 74619er is cleared to bolton field as filed expect uh climb maintain 3000 expect 7000 10 minutes after departure 128.46265 for the squawk and a hold for release we're departing 25, we're number one, ready to go now. 619. Club maintain 7,000 direct uh, Tango Zulu Romeo for 619 or void in five minutes. Thanks a lot, 619. Uh, you couldn't hear that because it was on the phone, so I used Bluetooth with my Bose A20s to call clearance delivery. They gave me my clearance as filed. Climb maintain 3,000, expect 7,000, 10 minutes after departure, 128.46265 on the squawk, and I'm cleared direct to Bolton Field as filed. Uh, once I let him know that I was ready to go, uh, number one at runway 25, he told me to make, climb maintain 7,000 and direct Tango Zulu Romeo. So, um, ready to depart. And we'll call them up on the on the go, and that'll be 128.4, which is Great Lakes approach. All right, ready to go. IFR flying. Potentially my first long solo IMC flight. Chrome Tiger 74609 departing Sparta runway 25. Sparta. Oh yeah, definitely gusty already. Just pop that right off the runway. All right, climbing up 400 feet. <coughs> we'll turn left on course. Call it right, approach. Grumman Tiger 74619 are just off Sparta climbing. Grumman Tiger 74619 are really approach. I dent and verify altitude here in FSL Center 3002. 619 are I dent 3022, currently 1,600 climb for 619. I'm in 619 or Grand Rapids Altimeter 3002. 3002, 1,700 climb at 619. Alright, so I'm headed down uh, to Charlotte, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, we shoot there quite a bit, actually. Most of the NASCAR teams are based in Charlotte or the Charlotte greater area. And uh, so we ended up doing quite a, quite a few shoots. And I'll tell you what, the Tiger is perfect to get down to Charlotte and back. It's about three and a half hours, give or take, uh, versus a 12 and a half hour drive or a 10 hour flight on uh, United Airlines with a connection, obviously. Uh, you can fly direct on American, but then you'd have to fly American and I'd rather drive than that. So the Tiger, three and a half hours each way today, probably four hours with a wind, but Real nice option. Not myself. Doing something this morning. Hoping I don't have blood all over my face right now, like a puppet. 
All right, 11, 7,000, cruise at 2,670 RPM, 10.8 gallons an hour, 128 knots across the ground, which is better than I thought. We're right above the initial layer. We're kind of between layers, and it's not like a really cloud deck below me. It's more like haze, but we do have like some scattered, and over here to my, off my right wing, you can see the tops of some torn clouds. And that's where the weather system's coming from. Kind of nice, it puts us right on top of what I think would be the most, the bumpiest weather. I think we'd have to go like another six, 7,000 feet to get into the next layer of clouds. CDI, make sure that's lining up. Reslave that. The 160 heading, that checks, 7,000 feet. Cruise is set, tank set, 10 gallons an hour. Burning, or use nine. Switch in just a minute. 7,000 feet. And it's like a giant softbox in here when we go through those bad dudes. Bright. Like shooting in a studio. All right. Well, there's my little taste of IMC. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Didn't roll it over. It's so easy, so easy to get disoriented. I know I'm just an amateur, and that's fine. But like, man, I can see how you get like you can get disoriented so easy. And that experience, you know, just builds with time and just. You get better and better at it. You know, you're just so hard to like not, you look up, you see the cloud, and you're like, oh, I'm turning. You're definitely not turning. Everything says you're not. You look down, you see the ground, you're like, oh, I'm descending. Definitely not descending. It's so much easier. I mean, like, it's it's technically harder. Like, the flying is definitely more difficult. There's a lot more technical flying involved in IFR flying, but it's so much easier than even, like, six months ago. If I was doing this flight VFR, I'm thinking, like, where's the cloud bases? Where are the tops? Can I get on top? Is it too risky to get on top? If I stay underneath, I'm going to get the crap beaten out of me. Are the clouds ever going to get till too low? Because there is some marginal around, you know, that's going to force me into a situation that's uncomfortable. And, like, this is really chill. Oh, I'll just choose 7,000. Clouds get in the way. That's fine. Let's go through them. No dramas. Just checked in with the Columbus approach. They gave me the weather at Bolton. Uh, Copied that, expecting the visual for 2-2. It looks like Bolton's clear. There might be some clouds uh, to my left, my right, but it looks like my, I'm gonna be clear the whole way in. And reading through the comments at Bolton, one of the other reasons I chose it is, like many things in my life, it's being dictated by food. And it says there's a barbecue spot on the field. Love this barbecue. It's like right on the edge of maybe being good or not. So well, uh, 509 Tango Victor's with you at 5,000. We'll see. This is the simplest thing, but this is tripping me up. Bolton. Power is 128.1. Bolton ground is 121.8. 128.1, 121.8. Dude asked me if I wanted two chocks. Of course I want two chocks. All right, JP's review. They got miniature golf horseshoes, five ball jukebox and music. They got beer and wine. They got ribs, chicken. They got beans, a roll, underings. Very friendly people inside. Got a tent. We're in face shields at least. Feel my plane right there. I I'm, I love it. This is my, this is my kind of spot. This is my favorite kind of place. No pretentious fire and oak baloney. Second annual motors and rotors. Something, something I could be into. Stress free flight reviews. Also into that. Yo, what's up, my dude? Well, check out this Cherokee 22.5.
Red patch, vegetable tray. It's properly windy out here. I legit just lost my hat. Almost lost my ribs. I think it's uh, reporting 33 knot gusts right now. So, should be a pretty chill departure. Departed Bolton, Ohio. Headed down towards uh, just north of Charleston, West Virginia. Cruising 9,000 feet, 2,690 RPM, burning. And 10.4 gallons an hour. It's an eye to sit here. Got an hour 55. Grumman Tiger and runway 20, continue. Respect clearance, short final. Continue, expect clearance. 619. Never heard that one. Continue, expect clearance. Don't know too much about that, but makes sense. Okay, Piper Cub, you can extend on the downwind now and start looking for a Grumman Tiger on about a three and a half mile final. That's who you're going to follow. All right, we'll look for the Tiger and we'll follow him. Six one seven. Grumman Tiger six one nine. Uh, traffic taking the runway for departures of Pilatus. Runway two zero, clear to land. Two zero, clear to land. Looking for the traffic signal. The Grumman, uh, or uh, Cub 617, you got the uh, Grumman in sight? Grumman in sight. Grumman, or uh, Cub 617, follow the Grumman to runway 20, clear to land number two. Clear to land number two, 20, 42617. Concord Tower, Tiger 1194, November is on a very wide base for 20 on the visual. Grumman 1194, uh, November. Uh, proceed to the midfield and then enter the left downwind for runway 20. Extend. I'll call your base. I'm almost out to Cottle Creek Reservoir. If you want, I can go towards the reservoir and Another then turn back towards the field. Grumman 94, uh, no, uh, 94 November, I want you to make a left turn, go to midfield, enter the left downwind for runway 20. 94 November, uh, Wilco will do. Traffic. Grumman 619, turn right at Echo and then taxi to the ramp. All right, expect delays. 619 right at Echo, taxi to the ramp. All right, welcome to Concord. Let's go shoot. Hey, bud, I'm sorry about that. I'm no worries. A couple of tigers down there, so yeah, I, there was I like maybe you were one of them taxiing up. No, there was like another one in the pattern too. Don't worry, oh, really? it's okay. like slamming. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing? Good, pretty good yourself. Not too bad. This, this one is in actually really good shape. Thanks, man. thanks. I yeah, try hard, you know. I gotta say, yeah. What's a uh, hat special? special yeah, I make, yeah, I make uh, commercials, car commercials. So we're shooting at the speedway. Oh, uh, that help? Yeah. Or a luggage cart or something. Yeah, luggage cart, whatever. Be super helpful. Concord ground 79949 on the south ramp, like the parts of southeast, and we have information Sierra. Let's go, 79949, Concord ground, taxi to runway 20 via Alpha. Taxi 20 via Alpha, 79949. Concord ground, how do you hear? I got you loud and clear, how do you have me? <laughs> All right, loud and clear now, sorry sir, thank you. Uh, we're at the tie downs at uh, ATP, looking ready to taxi uh, with Sierra. Archer 560 Alpha, did you do your run-ups and you're ready to go? We did not. Uh, we need to try to get a run-up, uh, if it's possible. Can we do it at the end? Nope, I need you to go down south end of the ramp and do your run-up. Call me when you're ready after that. Okay, roger that. Uh, can we just taxi via the ramp to the south run-up area? That's the preferred method. All right, thanks, sir. We'll do. Grumman Tiger, 74619, Concord Tower, runway 20, cleared for takeoff, on departure, fly heading 150, climb maintain 3000. Fly heading 150, climb maintain 3000, cleared for takeoff, 619. Archer 386 Delta, read back correct, you ready to taxi? Archer 386 Delta, taxi to runway 20 V Alpha. Tower 470, for holding short 20, ready. Charlotte, departure, Grumman Tiger 74619 are just off Concord, climbing 1,700. November 74619 are Charlotte, departure. Good morning, sir. Radar contact, climb and maintain 4,000. Climb and maintain 4,000, 619. 
This is the weather I'm looking at. Uh, it looks more intense on the ground. You know, Thank I'm looking you, at sir. it via ADS-B data now, which is blocky and less resolution than when it's on the ground. There was a red, and it has been breaking up through the morning as well. My goal was to kind of go around it. My direct route would take me right through the center over Charlottesville, or Ironville, actually. But we don't want to do that. Well, it probably looks okay now, but I figured I'd just kind of dip my toes in to go around it. You know, it cost me 30 minutes, it's a fuel, but it'll be fine. All right, it looks like we're just about to enter IMC now. Um, keeping an eye on the outside air temp, might ask for 9,000. But then I don't want to go in the ice, so we'll see. Here's a problem. I am leaking water through the windshield, and I know the windshield was loose. Niner, five, Niner, Romeo, Pato, Atlanta. But I didn't know it was loose. Uh, yeah, I don't like this. There's avionics back there that I am relying on my life on right now. Indianapolis, Volunteer 3402, level at flight level 230. Volunteer 3402, Atlanta Center Roger. Area is a moderate station from your 11 to 12 o'clock. One zero miles, extending scattered for two zero miles. Oh, we'll just plug that leak up like that. Atlanta Center, Bonanza, 6240. Oh, for sake. I can report uh, zero degrees centigrade, uh, in and out of light rain, IMC, and negative ice. So this is, this is a thing. This is like a legit thing. You know, you read about people being like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to get it without a two-axis autopilot, etc. And then, like, also dudes, like, hand-flying IMC being freight dogs. And, like, this is hard. I'm not going to lie. 577 Papa Sierra, contact Asheville Approach, 24.65, good day. I know this gets better, but if you asked me to like do a math problem right now, I would have a tough time doing it, let alone calculate a hold entry. I mean, I could, but over somewhere Appalachia, West Virginia, and Virginia, it's raining. I'm in between layers right now, which is nice. I just did about 45 minutes of IMC. I'm out of this little clearing here, which is nice. I'm about to go back in. Some actual weather, some green returns, a couple little yellow blobs. All right, a couple more uh, words from me that no one cares about. IFR is or the real deal, like all those things that, you know, when you're flying VFR, you're like, you let get sloppy or you're like, oh, whatever, it's no big deal. And like you, I don't like altitude management or your windshield leaking a tiny bit or making sure your OAT is, you know, no one really pays it, you don't pay attention. Not as big a deal, obviously, VFR, and like all these things, you have so many more data points to take in, so many more variables, so much more work to do. Which is like a duh, a bunch of viewers like, duh, dude, <laughs> single pilot IFR is hard. Now I'm like literally, I'm in my back of my mind, I'm like, okay, well, I need two G5s, a Garmin GF C500 autopilot. If I didn't have, I have a single pilot, single axis Century 1 autopilot that I've been using this whole time, if, if you've noticed it's on. The turbulence, you know, it's kind of, it doesn't disconnect, but it, it doesn't really, kind of starts yawing quite a bit, and, and the roll rate is, is pretty slow to recover, so I've been following it with my hands, like state level. Um, I would not want to be doing this hand flying, and, and in the back of my head, I'm just thinking, like, how much time does this Century 1 have on it? You know, how much time is left? Not much shown left on the, uh, on the next rad. But this was where the biggest bands were. Most of that is now behind us. We're in nice, nice, beautiful weather on top. I heard there might be lunch where we're going to Mid-Ohio Valley Regional. So we'll see if there's lunch there and get some fuel and then continue on our way, in which appears to be completely VFR conditions. I think this band of clouds up here is the end, but we'll find out. I'm gonna log that as like 1.5 of actual IMC. From in 6 to 1 and 9 to 17, 6,000. 17, 6,000, 600. Starting to descend down.
Alright, welcome to Parkersburg, West Virginia, formerly known as Parkersburg, Ohio. Let's get some pie. Alright, Parkersburg, West Virginia. We actually got an airline. Contour. I heard about that. It's like small. Then there's a restaurant. You can see it says around sign. Neat little spot. Small town USA. Thought it was in Ohio. iPad, pie, cheeseburger fries. Parkersburg. I think it might be time to try this pie. I got it back to here. Let's see. Brought it, brought it along, even brought my fork. Apple. Um, you know, Michigan has the best apples, but West Virginia, I think they'll probably make a pretty decent pie. I'll give it a try here. Honestly, that's, that's a really good pie. It's a really good, delicate, flaky crust. Heavy, heavy cinnamon. More cinnamon than I've used in a pie. Apple pie, at least. Good apple crunch, so you can tell it's actually fresh. It is really good pie. I would recommend Parkersburg, West Virginia. I'm gonna try some more though. Look. Purpose. Literally, just as I finished my pie, it started getting bumping again, which was nice of the atmosphere to do that for me, but honestly, getting a little sick of it. It's been four hours of bumps. Just want like some chill zone flying for a sec. because GoPros are trash, but I can see Lake Michigan and the sand dunes out there, which is my favorite view in the entire world. This beautiful sunset, this super nice gradient, this cascade. We're on in 619, you can start your descent now, altitude to your discretion. 619, altitude to my discretion. Sparta traffic coming to your 74619, -er, entering left on 125 Sparta. Sparta traffic coming to your 7469, entering left base 25 Sparta. Sparta Traffic Tiger 609, turning final 25, Sparta. Oh yeah, crosswindy. That was not a greaser. That was a 3 out of 10. Probably actually my hardest slam. Forever. That's it. Uh, what a great flight. Five and a half hours. Did some IMC. I'm tired. I want to go home. Get my wife. Have a beer. Thanks for watching. Actually, it was the best flight ever. I have. For a long time, I've been trying to get to the point where I had an instrument radio. I could consistently fly myself to work and I didn't have to fly United Airlines everywhere and spend so much time in airports. Got to go fly myself to work again.